Okay, today we've got a craft for you. Oh, if you want to just get the sample ready, I'll, I'll show them at the end. I'll show you what we're going to make today. Noah, no way, come sit down. Where are you going? Number six, eyes up here, paying attention. Number six, thank you. We'll show you that a bit later. Ooh, a bit of a sneak peek. What are we going to make? Thank you, Katarina. We're up to book number six. Who knows how to say this name? Zephi. <laughs> Try again. Joshua, very good. Joshua. And today we're looking at the story of Rahab the harlot. Rahab the harlot. She's known as Rahab the harlot. Who knows what a harlot is? Anybody know? Oh, it's somebody that, somebody that sleeps with somebody who's not their husband for money. Very, very bad. Very naughty. Right? Not a good profession. But today, she's going to show us a good example of something to do. Not her profession. Not what she does for a living. But she's going to show us her faith. It just, says, just goes to show you don't have to be perfect to have faith in God. Because none of us are perfect. Even somebody that does something as bad as being a harlot. Right? You don't have to be perfect to have faith in God. And that's what Rahab the harlot is going to show us. Now if you remember the story, remember they came out of Egypt, went through the sea, and because they didn't believe God going into the promised land, God made them wander into the wilderness. And then in Deuteronomy, Moses gave them the commandments again. Moses was not allowed to go in, and now they're going to go into the promised land with who? What was the name of the book? Joshua, that's right, Joshua now is going to bring them in. And one of the, one of the earlier battles they're going to have is the Battle of Jericho. Jericho. Who remembers the Battle of Jericho? Remember? Remember when they marched around Jericho seven times and what did they blow? A whistle. A whistle. Remember, put your hand up. Put your hand up, Simon. The ram's horn. And then what did they do? They shouted. Ah! And what happened when they shouted? Do you remember the story? Who remembers the story, Sarah? What happened? What? The wall fell down. So we'll get to that soon. So this is what's happening in Joshua. Now before they went in to invade Jericho, they sent in how many spies? How many? Oh, how many in here? Two. Very good. Okay. They sent in two spies. Now the two spies met Rahab the harlot. Okay. Rahab the harlot. Now the men of the city came looking for those spies because they knew there were two men come in and they're trying to spy out the land. So they went to Rahab's house. Rahab hit them quickly on the roof underneath the straw. And when they came, they asked, Hey, where were those men that came into you? They've come in to spy out the land. And what did Rahab do? Rahab didn't say, Oh, here they are. What did she do? She said, You know what? They just went out of the city. If you go quickly, you might catch them. So you can see here, she's telling them, Look, they went that way. But where are they? They're hiding in the roof. So Rahab says, hey, If you go quickly, it's night time, you might catch them before they get away. And when they went out of the city, what happened? And the gates closed behind them. <laughs> so she sent them out of the city and they couldn't get back in after that because at night time they closed the gates to the city for safety. So she sent them away. And then she came back to see them and she told them, I know that you guys have come because the Lord God has sent you and you guys are taking over you know, I heard about the kings that you conquered. She said, I also heard about how the Lord parted the Red Sea. And you guys came through. So she says, I know that the Lord has delivered Jericho into your hands. Yeah. Right? So you know what she asks the spies? She asks the spies here. She asks them, if you, when you take over this city, if you can spare my family's life, 
That's all she asks. So she lets them escape. And she lets them escape out the side of the window because she lives on the wall of the city. If you see here, she lives on the wall, so they were able to escape. And you know what the two spies say to her? The two spies say, hey, our life for your life. If you don't tell anyone in the city about us coming in and what our plans are, then we will spare your family's life when we come in and we evade the city. But you know what they said? To make sure that we are free and guilt guiltless of this oath. Because how are they meant to know who the family of Rahab is when they come in and invade the city? They don't know who is related to Rahab and who isn't. So you know what they said? They said, we're going to give you this scarlet thread. So it's giving her like a rope that's colored red. And they say, when we come and invade the city, you make sure that you put this scarlet thread on your, on your window so that when we come in, we know this is Rahab the harlot's house. And she said, Any, and he, they said to her, anybody that you want to be saved, anybody who, who is going to be spared from us coming in and killing needs to be inside your house. And anyone who's in your house will be spared. But if anyone goes outside of the house when we come and invade and they get killed, they said, the blood is on you, the blood's not on us. Okay? So that was the agreement. Does that make sense? So for letting them escape and not telling, them, not telling the city about the spies, remember sending the, the, the men out the other way when they came to look for the spies, they said, hey, anybody who's in your house with the scarlet thread, will be spared when we come in. So if you want your family to be saved, make sure they're in your house. Now when they came, here's the priests blowing the ram's horn. You remember the story? They marched around the city how many times? Seven. How many times? Seven. Seven. Make sure you put your hand up if you want to say something. Seven times. They blew the ram horn. Here they are shouting. And then they said when they invaded the city, they needed to destroy everyone except who? Rahab the harlot and anyone in her house because she protected the spies when they came into the city. Can you see here? And you see all the walls coming down except this one. Why? Because that was Rahab the harlot. So this is how Rahab the harlot was spared. And she was able to escape the judgment Joshua 6.25, look at what it says here. And Joshua saved Rahab the harlot alive and her father's household and all that she had and she dwelleth in Israel even unto this day because she hid the messengers. See the spies? She hid the spies which Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. So you see how Rahab was spared. Why? Because she had faith in God and she showed that faith to people when she hid the spies and sent them out another way, even though she's a harlot. You see? So you see, you don't have to be perfect to have faith in God. You just need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And that's the picture here. I got this picture here showing Rahab on the wall, the scarlet thread, and everywhere else is fallen down in Jericho. Because what do you think the scarlet thread represents in this story? Who knows? What do you think it means? Jesus' blood. blood. That's it. That's why it's red. So the picture that God's trying to show us here, you see how Jesus' blood is protecting all those that are in Rahab's house. And anybody who is in that house, good or bad, if they went into the house, they would be saved. So it's the same with Jesus, isn't it? Jesus died on the cross for us. He was buried and he rose again. And anybody who believes on him, anybody who puts their faith in Jesus, like anybody who went into Rahab's house, would be saved. Do you see how that's the picture of Rahab? So that's what God wants to teach us. So, not, so that's what we learn from Rahab. We learn about the faith of Rahab, putting her faith in the Lord God of Israel, the scarlet thread representing Jesus' blood, and that reminds us, hey, we are sinners. God's judgment is coming. We need to put our faith on Jesus Christ 
as well. Okay, now today we are doing a craft. I'll show you here to remind us of the story of how the spies came in. So have you guys seen? My kids have already seen this. Look at this. Katarina's done a great job here. Look at how pretty she's made it. So we're going to call her in. This is Rahab living on the wall of the city. And she let the spies out of a rope through the window. So here's the spy escaping. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> Who likes this? I think that's it's a great thing. Okay. All right. So let's stand up. We'll go to the back and get started. <laughs> 